Hey everybody, it's Mike AK, that retail guy. It's Monday morning and we got some sales to go over. Uh, I thought this weekend was pretty slow. It didn't seem like my phone was cha-chinging a whole lot, but as it turns out, I looked at my numbers this morning and things were pretty good. I mean, I sold 25 items uh, for a total of $890.78. So it was pretty good. I mean, I almost, Almost got to 900 bucks. Yeah. I was definitely very happy to see that total and realize that things were pretty good. Uh, they were fueled by a few really strong sales and you'll see those as I go over them here. Uh, so yeah, well, we we got a what sold video today. Uh, but before I start that, uh, a couple things. I wanna thank everybody that bought items last week on Friday. Uh, whether I call them wholesale lots, discount lots, whatever, uh, I'm definitely not making any money on these. Uh, I've been charging like $7 plus shipping uh, I hope you guys are all happy with what you've been getting so far. The feedback's been pretty good. I still haven't heard from several of you. Uh, so again, if you've got one of these lots from me in the past in the comments of this video or one of the others, put down there what you got, what you thought of it, and uh, everything else. So uh, thanks to a few people. Uh, Glenn got the sports cards lot. So thank you, Glenn. Uh, Jose bought the Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So thank you, Jose, for getting that one. Uh, the comic books were bought by Christine. So thank you, Christine. I hope you like them. Uh, the sports jerseys, those were bought by Dan. So Dan, there's a couple good ones in there, so I hope you enjoy those. Uh, if you resell them, let me know. Let me know if you make some money on them. Uh, and the last one was from Eric. He got bought the box of miscellaneous stuff. This one's always my favorite to put together, so I, cause I can just put random stuff in there. There's no theme or anything to it. Can just find some cool stuff, throw it in there. And I think this box is pretty good too. So thanks all five of you. Uh, and then this week we're going to do it again. I don't know if we'll do five boxes, but we'll at least do some. Uh, they will be Friday, 5 o'clock p.m. Arizona time. I will have those in my store. Uh, for those five of you that bought this week, please don't buy them this time. Kind of give a week in between buying some of these so we can make sure that other people get a chance to get in on some of these boxes. I did have one fulfilled by merchant sale on Amazon. It was a Star Wars book. I think I can put the pop-up up here. Nothing too exciting. It was $20-some dollars plus shipping. I've had it in my Amazon store forever. I don't buy a lot of books, but I was at a store one day. I believe it was a Savers, and they had four or five hardback Star Wars books. So I looked them all up, and they were all selling from $17 to $25. Bucks. So I grabbed them. At our Savers, if you buy four, you get the fifth book free. So that was even better. Paid about $2, maybe $2.25 per book. So in the end, the sale, I'm all sold out of them. So they all sold and uh, you know, like I said, they all sold for around that $20 range. All right, one item that's not back here is because I had a local pickup on it. Uh, the person actually lived like two miles down the road from me. So he bought this hat, this New York Knicks vintage sports specialties hat. He bought it from me for 40 bucks. We met in the parking lot of the grocery store down the street. Nice, quick, and easy. He left me feedback two minutes after he picked it up. So fantastic sale to a local buyer. All right, let's get started on the stuff because we've got a bunch of stuff to cover. Uh, first sale was for three hockey pucks. The same buyer bought all three of them. First, we got a Phoenix Roadrunners. These are all minor league hockey teams. So this is Phoenix Roadrunners, a local team. This one is the Spokane or Spokane or Spokane. How do you pronounce it? Chiefs. And this one is a Fort Worth Brahma's puck so three cool minor league pucks i love finding stuff like this you can usually find them for a buck or two they're not big money but usually 10 to 12 bucks a piece for minor league pucks sometimes a little more if you find some rare run rare ones uh but these three combo together are 32.97 plus shipping next we got this steve nash bobblehead another local player uh one of the greatest sons of all time just listed this last week, and it was one that I picked up in the sports haul that I had a couple weeks ago. That's turning out to be really good. I have a couple sales today, both from that purchase. Uh, and this went for $29.99 plus another $9.99 for shipping. Here's a big box game that I don't know if I would pick these up anymore. This is called Grand Mastermind. It's a vintage game from the 70s. The regular Mastermind is maybe about a third the size of this box, and this is a little more manageable. This is kind of a pain in the butt because it doesn't really fit into any standard priority mail box. And this one took a while to sell. The regular Mastermind is much more popular. So yeah, I doubt I would pick any more of these up unless it was like new and sealed or something crazy like that. Um, as it is, I ended up getting $15.99 plus another $9.99 for shipping. You see this bat up here. Uh, my listing I'll show here, I just put a bunch of bats in the same listing and sort of said just 
pick and let me know which one you want, marked which ones are sold out. Uh, this is an actual player used cracked bat. Uh, this is the player's name, Rafael Yanoa, or however he pronounces that. Uh, I get a lot of these from minor league players. We have spring training here and a lot of training camps for the different minor league teams here in Arizona. So I get a lot of these cracked bats, uh, have a couple contacts for them. You can see here, the bat was shattered right here. It's a very typical spot where they get broken. So you gotta be very careful while handling. If it's not a big name player, generally about 20 bucks is what you can get for them. Obviously you get better players, you get more money. So yeah, this one here, I got 20 bucks plus another $14.99 for shipping. It'll go into one of those priority mail shipping triangles. This next lot I was really happy to get rid of because it was kind of one that I got for free. It was just a throw in in a big box lot of sports items that I bought at the local sports auction. And I'd been sending offers on this one literally every time it comes up to be able to send offers. Uh, it sold for $24.99, which is the full price. It was something from, it wasn't from somebody that I sent an offer to. It's been in my store a long time, at least six months. Uh, but these are really cool books from the 70s. I used to get these as a kid when the bookmobile came to our school. So if you're old like me, you remember the bookmobile. So yeah, these are like these books where it just has different stars from the times. That one's from 1972, 1971. You got some dolphins here. Roger Staubach of the Cowboys. So yeah, I used to love getting these little books and reading about the players because we didn't have the internet back then. Yeah, you whippersnappers, there was no internet back then. We actually had to read books to get our information on players. So it was kind of neat seeing these books, knowing that I probably had a lot of these when I was a kid. So yeah, uh, happy to sell this for $24.99 shipped. Since they're all books, it can go media mail. It's not gonna cost me under five bucks to send. I sold another one of these D-backs snakeskin bill caps. Get it close so you can kind of see the cool snakeskin faux snakeskin. It's not real. On the front here, these are vintage hats, new with the tags from the original couple of seasons. The Diamondbacks were here. I picked up a large lot of these a few months back and I've been selling through them. Uh, so every time it comes up where I can send offers out, I definitely do it. Uh, a single hat I have listed for $24.99. I sent out an offer for 20 bucks, free shipping, and they took it. So yeah, 20 bucks shipped. Let me show you how many of these hats I have. So yeah, look, I wasn't joking. This tub is full of these hats. We have both black and purple versions. So I bought about 70 of those hats for about 220 bucks, about 350 or so into each hat. I'm going to be selling them for a long time, but yeah, if I have set, if I have 70 of them selling them at 20 bucks a hat, that's $1,400 in gross sales. So I'll be really happy once they all sell. It'll probably take a few years. Sold another one of these tailor-made burner golf towels. This is the last red one that I had. I think this one's more popular than the, than the black version. Picked these up for like $2.50 a piece and it sold for $15.95 shipped. Just goes into a poly mailer and ships out for like four bucks. The next sale was these three Lego Duplo vehicles. So we had like a race car, a plane, and a motorcycle cop. So you got three vehicles and three of the figures. Uh, I mentioned last week that I went through my big box of Duplos, broke a bunch of stuff up, did some bulk lots. Not big money, but it went for $9.99 plus another five bucks for shipping. Here's a cool item that sold with the same day that I listed it. I listed it on Saturday and it sold Saturday. This is the just the body shell for an RC car, uh, but this one must be a little rare. This one is called Son of a Digger, the son of Grave Digger. So yeah, I found two of these at a thrift store had both Grave Digger and this one. For some reason, they had them priced differently. One was $2.50, the other was $5.50. I don't really know why, but I bought them both. Figure I'm spending about $4 a piece for them. So they came fully with the RC car, but the RC car itself isn't that valuable. This is the valuable part, the shell. People take these and put them on to really souped up RC cars. So yeah, put this out there. It sold for $29.99 plus another nine bucks shipping. Like I said, it sold same day. So this really cool ASU Arizona State football jersey. This is a vintage champion brand jersey. Or I think I had it at $39.99. Someone shot me an offer for $30, so I took it. Yeah, $30 bucks shipped. So the video game. It's been a while since I've sold one. Uh, the titles I have left aren't real good. This one is for N64. It is uh, All-Star Baseball 99. Uh, this one I ended up getting $10.99 shipped. 
Next item is an autographed baseball. This one's not faded like the last few I've sold. This one, if you don't know who it is, uh, this is Todd Zeal. He was a player for the St. Louis Cardinals back in the uh, late 80s, early 90s. Fairly, fairly popular back then, but his signature is not worth a whole lot. And this one went for $12.99 shipped. Here's this little puzzle. It's called Impossa Puzzles. I found quite a few of these before. Usually I find them for like a dollar at one certain thrift store. Uh, the ones I had in the past sold for like 20 bucks each on Amazon. And I did have this listed on Amazon and eBay both, uh, but I ended up taking an offer uh, on eBay. They offered me 10 bucks shipped, so yeah, I went ahead and took it. It's, it's gonna ship first class and probably cost me like $4 to mail. All right, I think this was my favorite item of the weekend. It wasn't the most valuable, but just kind of a cool, neat item. I like finding things like this. This is vintage Arnold Palmer golf spike. So these are like replacement spikes for your golf shoes. Uh, you got a picture of Arnold here, AJ brand. I found these in a thrift store. I think it was a buck 98 at the thrift store that I got these at. And I looked on eBay. There were a few things from AJ, but they were mainly golf ads from magazines, no actual products. So I priced this really high. I priced it at 29.99. I believe it was free shipping, but still I got 30 bucks for these vintage golf spikes. Okay, I got two more of the more valuable ones than the sports card stuff to go through. So stick in with me, we're almost there. This is a really cool item too. It's this, uh, try to get the glare off of it. This is from Disneyland. This is for a special screening of Captain EO when the ride opened at Disneyland in 1986. So if you've been, if you've been watching my videos for a while, I picked up a bunch of Disney items from a relative of a friend of mine. They worked at Disney. Uh, they were involved in construction in Tomorrowland. So they were heavily involved in the Captain EO project. He had a bunch of these tickets. So. I was able to get one of them and it finally sold. I had it in my store for like $180, but it's been there for quite a while now. Uh, sent somebody an offer for $115 and I think they countered back at $100, so I went ahead and took it. All right, here's a cool jersey. This is John Elway of the Denver Broncos. But look, this is new, old, dead stock, new with tags from the Super Bowl. It's got the Super Bowl logo up here on the front. I think this is a 2XL, so it was a really good size. Uh, was really excited when I found this at a thrift store. I've had it for quite a while though. I, I did, it wasn't super cheap. I think I paid $30 for this at the thrift store, but because it was new with tags, because of the size, I knew I'd be able to get good money for it. Uh, again, I had this price pretty high in my store. I think it was like 129 and sent somebody an offer of $85 the other day and they jumped on it. So yeah, ended up getting 85 bucks shipped for this jersey. Okay, the rest of the stuff back here is all sports cards. So if you're not into the cards and you're gonna jump out of the video here, I wanna thank you now. Please give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. If you wanna see what cards sold, please stay tuned and we'll go over those. All right, the first lot is all football cards. There's a little bit under 200 cards, I think in this lot, somewhere in there. It'll be in the description. I don't remember the total. Uh, these are all, an insert card from this set is called Trophy Collection. Big lot of them. Sold for about a dime a card. I ended up getting $19.99 plus shipping. Next back here, two more of these big, big bulk baseball card lots. 300 cards per lot. Uh, every card is serial numbered. You'll see in the description here, the same buyer bought two of the lots. So $29.99, $29.99 plus shipping. So he's 60 bucks plus shipping all in. Now the good stuff. Yeah, this was a big part of my sales weekend because we sold some good cards. First, I got to show you Mike Piazza. Of course, I sold the Mike Piazza card. This was in my store for, I think, $30. This is a pretty rare Pacific insert from the 90s. I sent an offer for $17.50 on this and they bought it. Next, Mike Trout cards are getting really hot right now. So here's one of his minor league cards from TriStar. This sold for $19.99 plus 10 bucks shipping up to Canada. This was from that sports hall that I got a couple weeks ago. This is a Vince Carter autographed like rookie year card. Shows him in uh, his North Carolina jersey. I think I had this in my store for 70 bucks. Somebody sent an offer for 50, so I took it. And Michael Jordan cards are on fire right now. This card was probably only worth 10 bucks because of the condition a little while ago, but prices have shot up. Now, in great condition, this card it could be going for $100 or more. But if you see on the back, you can see how it's got like this diagonal cut. So the, the cut is not even here. There's more border here than down here. It's the same way on the front. You can kind of see less border, more border. So it it's called a miscut. 
Otherwise, the card is in pretty good condition. I threw it out at $49.99 plus shipping, I think. And it sold, I think, within a day of me listing it. So it was a day or two. Either way, got 50 bucks plus shipping for this card. So yeah, I'm really happy. Sales were really good. Uh, almost $900 this weekend, 25 sales. Hopefully this week's going to be just as strong as well. So I thank you all for watching, hanging in here till the end. Please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. Thanks. We'll see you next time.